I think and I think you also partially answered the next question, which was going to be what what you thought you were best prepared for and the, and and the least prepared for. Um, but I'll, 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 if there's anything else to add from that standpoint, um, is there anything? What would you add to that, uh, Christy? If, if when you think about the least prepared or the most prepared for, um, it kind of ties into the first one a little bit. You know, I think that. I live in Savannah, Georgia, where we have hurricanes and flooding and all those kinds of things. And everybody mm -hmm. here, the majority of businesses have disaster preparedness plans. And obviously, as a large organization, Flagstar had one. And it was a great test. You know, we did that kind of midweek of March. We did a test of sending people home to say, okay, what happens if disaster occurs? And our people were so amazing at that. And our systems were amazing. And the plan worked well, you know, and as yeah. Jen said, and Don said, you know, it's not that we were surprised that our people did well, but it was just heartwarming and touching and a proud moment that everybody came together like they did. And that was the thing that made us most excited is that the plan worked. And then by the way, we were testing it on Friday and implementing it on Monday. Right? I mean, that's how, again, back to that speed thing. This is yeah. how fast things are going. Maybe we're all just really good at uh, at, at these things, and just like, just like, hey, we we've kind of been underperforming. Like we we're we're actually better than we thought we were. We can do things a lot faster and a lot better. <laughs> I'll well, I think, I think it comes not... down to your previous analogy of 2008, right? Um, we went through that call it three year cycle, completely rethinking and relearning how to get things done. All the logic that we came up with and worked through back then works exactly the same way today. And so I think that that's what allows us to act and react at the speed that we can do it today. Uh, because we, I hate to say it, we have experience in disaster, <laughs> right? Um, and so all we're doing is implementing all the things we learned 10 years ago or 12 years ago, re-implementing those same things, only now we're doing it immediately instead of over weeks and months. We're doing it in matters of hours. Yeah. I think down the the one I mean, so the one thing that we were not prepared for, and I don't, I, you know, I don't want to speak for everybody else. I guess, like, yeah, you know, fur my eye here from the animals in the house, but um, we were not prepared for just the global scale of this. I think the difference between 08 was, you know, you had it was limited to one industry. Now it's every industry for the whole for the whole world. And so if I think about, you know, we needed to quickly get. Uh, employees who typically would not have laptops so that they could work from home. Well, there was a shortage across the whole country. You couldn't even go into Best Buy or Costco to get laptops. Like they were just not there, you know? Mm -hmm. And so that's where I think like the real thing that we were not prepared for was, wow, we, you know, we sort of saw it coming because, and, and, and I, all credit to our IT department, they've been sounding the alarms for a while saying, guys, we, when COVID hit China, they're like, we are not able to get laptops. So we've got the supply, we're getting some more, but be judicious. But then, you know, when it was like very quickly, again, to the point about the speed, it was good grief. How do we make sure that we can redeploy what we have and have enough so that people can go home and work from home and be safe? Um, and so there's some of those shortages that were just, you know, what you would think to be unrelated to our industry, but very much so. Yeah. 